मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 6.2 कल क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 वी हैव डन इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 एंड आवर टुडेस टॉपिक इज हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द कंटीन्यूड प्रोडक्ट ओके टू फाइंड द कंटीन्यूड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर टू और थ्री नंबर्स वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई एंड हियर आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो द आइडेंटिटीज सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1 and here is 4x square plus 1. Since all this multiplication is based on identities only, so you have to observe the which identity is here. So students, if we observe this one, this is show the identity a plus b and a minus b. How to solve this one? A square minus b square. So first we solve this two only. Okay. Then we write a square. That's mean two x square minus b square. That's mean one square. Okay. And then after the second number is four x square plus one. Let's solve two x square. Two two is a four. Four x square minus one. Then here four x square plus one. Students again, this shows the same identity a minus b, a plus b. So we can solve it again. Yes, then a square. That means four x square square, and b square minus that means one square. Four square. That means sixteen. And x square then whole square. Two two ja four. X raised to the power four, and then one. Now the continued product of these three number is sixteen x raised to the power four minus one. Let's take one more part from this question. Now, student, I am taking its sixth part. Okay. In sixth part, they have given two a plus a by two, two a, two by a minus a by two, then four a square plus a square by four. How to solve this one? Let's see. Same the identity a plus b a minus b. So how to solve this one? A square, two by a whole square minus b square. Then a by two whole square. Okay. And the third is remain as it is four a square plus a square by four. Two 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 ja four a square minus a square by four. Okay, swim. And now again the same identity. Four a square plus a square four, a minus b and a plus b. How to solve this one? Same, a square minus b square. So a square is here. Four a square whole square minus a square by four whole square. Then how to write this one? Four four just sixteen a raised to the power four. Then a raised to the power four. Why two two ja four? Then four four ja sixteen. This is our solution of this sixth part. So, students, let's move to the next question of this one. Rest part you have to solve by yourself. Now the next question is question number seven. In question number seven, they have given the value of x y. That is minus fifteen, and x minus y. That is six, and we have to find the value. Find the value of x square plus y square. Okay, students, how to solve this one? We start our solution with x minus y equals to six because this is given to us. Students here we will apply equations rules. The first rule by squaring both sides. The first rule by squaring both sides. What we did by squaring both side of equation. Okay, by squaring both side. So if we square, it become A minus B whole square. So A square 
minus 2ab that's mean 2xy minus plus y square 6 square that's mean 36 so and they have already given that value of xy so we will put the value of xy value of xy is minus 15 plus y square equals to 36 question okay now then after minus minus plus 15 to the 30 plus y square equals to 36 x square and y square will remain here and we shift this 30 we transfer this one to the other side of the equation here is positive then after shift the other side it convert in negative now it will be x square plus y square equals to 6 since we get the answer only this value we have to find out that x square plus y square so the x square plus y square value is 6 okay students now let's take question number 8 is the same kind of the question that you have to solve by yourself now question number 9 in question number 9 they have given we have to find the value find the value of first x square plus 1 by x square and second x raised to the power 4 then 1 by x raised to the power 4 and what they have given to us they have given x plus 1 by x equal 5 okay students this thing only they have given so let's start because this equation is given x plus 1 by x what we will do by squaring both sides so first we do squ square the both sides of equation okay Shwin? now when we square x plus 1 by x whole square then 5 whole square now students have you remembered the identities a plus b whole square so how to open a square plus 2 a and b this is our a value this is b value then plus 2 a b then 1 upon x square equals to 5 5 yeah, 25 now this x cancel out this x and from here we get x square plus 2 plus 1 by x square equals to 25 this 2 transfer to the right side after transfer this one we get x square 1 by x square equals to 25 minus 2 then again x square plus 1 by x square equals to 23 this is our first solution because they ask what is the value of x square plus 1 by x square now second they are asking students x raised to the power 4 plus 1 by x raised to the power 4 how to solve this one now our solution and here so for the second one for the second part to find the second part we start from here only x square plus 1 by x square equals to 23 then we will follow the same procedure by squaring both sides so 1 by x square then whole square equals to 23 square okay Shwin? now then after same formula a plus b whole square x square then x square raised to the power 2 okay x square that's mean a b a square then 2 a b 2 multiply x square multiply 1 by x square then after 1 by x square then whole square and 23 multiply with 23 23 when multiply with 23 we get 529 so students observe here x square cancel by x square okay then from here we get x raised to the power 4 
टू प्लस वन बाई एक्स रेज टू द पावर फोर दैट मीन फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन एक्स फोर प्लस वन बाई एक्स फोर दिस टू सिर्फ टू द राइट साइड देन फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाइन माइनस टू देन फ्रॉम हेयर वी गेट एक्स फोर प्लस वन बाई एक्स रेज टू द पावर फोर इक्वल्स टू फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी सेवन नाउ स्टूडेंट बाई दिस वी हैव सॉल्व द बोथ पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ऑल्सो द सेम टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट यू हैव टू सॉल्व बाई योर सेल्फ बट इन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन यू हैव टू अप्लाई द आइडेंटिटी ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर ओके नाउ मूव क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन स्टूडेंट दे हैव गिवेन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ of x plus 1 by x and what they have given now x square plus 1 by x square equals to 23 so in this in this question we have to move inwards because have you observed from starting to end but now in this question we start from end to starting here what we subtract both side minus what we subtract here minus 2 so let's we start from here only then in this question we will write add 2 both side okay when we add 2 both side we get this one 23 plus 2 okay so Now then after, so when we know x and multiply one by x, what we get from here? We get from here one only. So we can use this one only. Why we are doing this inverse? Because we want here x plus one by x whole square. For this we are doing this procedure. Okay. Now two multiply x multiply one by x. If the same number we multiply and same number we divide, the effect is zero. It doesn't effect on the question. How? Let's see here. Same number multiply, same number divide, it cancel. What will remain? One. And any number multiply with one, the answer is number itself. Now here is twenty-five. So it's like a formula: a square, two a b, and b square. So we can write here a. x plus one by x whole square, and it's twenty five. Twenty five is five square, and power cancel to power. Now the what is the value of x plus one by x? That is five. I think you a little bit confused in this question. Let's take one another question to more clear this one. Now we are going to solve this question number twelve also. Okay. In question number twelve, they have given swing. Same, we have to find the value of x minus one by x. Okay, and they have given x square plus one by x square equals to six to seven. First step by Student, now this time what value we want? Minus. So here we will not add. We will subtract. By subtract two both side. Students, ah, uh, keep remember whenever equation is given and both side we are doing the same procedure, its effect always zero. So here x square plus one by x square. Here is minus two. And six hundred twenty-seven here also minus two, both side, okay. Now then after same, if I multiply here with x and one by x, its re result is same, one only. Now it's become a square minus two ab minus plus b square, so x minus one by x whole square. That's mean twenty-five. Whole square because six hundred twenty-five means twenty-five multiplied twenty-five. 
power cancel by power and x 1 by x x plus sorry x minus 1 by x its value is 25 okay students now today we have discussed question number 6 to 12 that you have to solve in your register students and in the next video we will discuss about question number 13 and 14 okay for today this much only thank you students